Hello and welcome to the Spirit Hunters Podcast. I'm Lance White Eagle and with me are Hunter White Eagle, Chrissy Holtz, Brenda White Eagle, Lisa, Shane White Eagle. My pause like you had to think about it. I, oh, like I had to think Brenda. about my name because <laughs> she's I the grandma. Know to, to go grandma with and Gigi, mom. Grandma, you uh, know. Yeah. Um, Gim, Gim. And today we're going to talk <laughs> about <laughs> anything but me, Mom. G Diddy. Yeah. We're going to talk about our investigation at uh, Protocol 80, uh, Christine's workplace. Yep. So, you want to give a little background sure. info? Sure. Um, now, the actual year that the building was built, well, first off, I'll tell you Protocol 80 is an inbound marketing agency, and I do. Um, like technical copywriting for them and um, other inbound marketing activities. But um, the building that we did the investigation in is in Lewis Run, Pennsylvania, and it is the recre it used to be the recreational like center for the Our Mother of Perpetual Health Church that's in Lewis Run. Um, and they used to do Sunday school classes. Uh, so I talked to my boss and um, he had actually got some footage um, of some sort of orb. They had been talking about having someone come in and do like an investigation. And I was like, hey, well, we do investigations. So um, we went there the one night. It was just, um, I think all of us, us? here. Yeah. yeah. And um, we went in and we actually got quite a bit of activity. We should say too that the, the employees were having a lot of activity. Yes, oh. um, that's we also had Bill Robertson there. I was too. just going to say, Bill can't Robertson. forget Bill. Yes, um, the things that we've experienced, me personally, I would have things coming behind me. Um, the one time I actually saw, I have this little um, picture frame in front of me and my cubicle, and I actually saw a reflection of whatever was coming behind me. Um, also, the one time when I was in the media room um, with one of my coworkers, the lights randomly went out, but the lights did not go out in the rest of the building. Um, and I have several other coworkers who have had um, entities walk up, like the same feeling I have, like something walk up behind them. The one even turned her desk towards the door, so um, because she didn't like that creepy feeling. Um, and as we'll hear from some of the stuff that we picked up, um, whatever's there, I think kind of likes to spook people a little bit. <laughs> like um, it's kind of like a jokester. Yep. But, um, but yeah, there's been like a lot of different things. Um, right before we did the investigation, there were the pipes had burst at P80. It was like Christmas Eve, Christmas morning. And um, they had to, you know, come in and have people clean it up and pick up like all the stuff off the floor and whatever. And when my boss was watching the footage, he actually, you hear the pipe burst, but right before you hear the pipe burst and the water gush, you see this orb coming from the media room where the light shut out the one time with me and my coworker. And the orb goes towards the bathroom door, um, which was pretty interesting. And that's kind of like when he was like, Literally yeah. Literally seconds like, before. Yeah. And then that pipe just whoosh, Yeah. yeah. So when he sent me that, I'm like, oh yeah, we definitely have to do <laughs> yeah. an investigation. So. And we actually got a little more than I was expecting us to get. You know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, that pipe, we might should say too, we looked at that pipe at the, the opening where it burst. What saved most of the building from severe water damage because it was a high pressurized pipe. Um, the door shut and so the water didn't get to go into the other rooms. But when we were looking at it, when the door was open, it should have pushed the door all the way open, not actually close the door. Yeah. Seems like, I mean, who knows, maybe something was trying yeah. to save the building. Well, yeah, which is what? The door opens into the direction of the water if it were to spray in that direction. Yeah, the so pipe how was could it, up here and the door... It's sprayed by the door, that the door forces way past the sprayer, yeah. you know, uh, oh, right. water. It went against the flow yeah. of the water, yeah. which doesn't yeah. make sense. And like Chrissy said, we don't have video of the door being closed because there's no camera pointed at the bathroom. Right. Um, but yeah, that'd be creepy. Uh, Mom, I do believe, asked, using the K2 meter, like, can you light this up for yes? And she asked, hey, did you, when we saw you go into this room, did you close the door to help with the water? And it spiked up into the red. And, and that one, 
was an answer I got in Josh's office. Mm -hmm. um, and he said he was a 20, he was in his 20s and he was a male. And he likes to scare people and play jokes. But and, he did say that he shut the door. Yeah, and how, like I said, we um, use a K2 meter which measures like electrical or magnetic fluctuations. Uh, you know, she was saying like, can you light this up for yes or no? And that's how we got a lot of the information we got was having them interact with an object to indicate a yes or no answer. And we um, should also, know too that Lisa's rods also had a similar thing about the guy who a prankster, joke. Yeah. yeah. The same room that Brenda was talking to the guy about possibly shutting the bathroom door, that's also in Josh's office. That's also where um, two of my coworkers, Rachel and Nate, they had come in early the one morning and they heard typing um, on a keyboard. So, and you know, they heard typing and then kind of somebody hit the enter key and they went in to say good morning to him um, and nobody was there. I did ask him, do you work here, the spirit I was talking to, and he said yes. <laughs> was that the same room that we were going to do, do and the monitors the turned yeah, on or something? Yeah, the monitor turned on, even though there was no keyboard or laptop hooked up mm -hmm. to the monitor, nothing to touch, nope. to push, yeah. to make the monitor come yeah. on. Yeah, yeah nothing hooked to the monitor. Yeah. We all have laptops. Something just turned the monitor on. Yeah, we all have laptops, and we usually take them home at the end of the day. A lot of us do, so yeah, there was nothing... Attached. Well, in one of the rooms that I was talking to someone, right at the end, once once I get no responses, I'm like, well, I'm going to leave the room. And I start walking out, and he had one of those electronic, um, where it changes photographs of your relatives. Oh, that would be Zach's office. Yeah. That's, That's yeah. who it was. Okay. And it turned on as I was going out the door. I'm like... Oh, it was off? Oh, it was off. See, I don't know. I'll have to ask him lit. how that works. I'm not sure if it's on. Find out if it's on. Could be on. I don't think it'd be in motion. No, but it could be on. Could be on a timer. timer It'd be asleep for an hour, many. Because I like, he's, cause it was off when I went in there. He's been out for a little bit, and I used his office the yeah. other day, and it was on. So I don't know what kicks it on or yeah. off. We'll um, have to look I also have right. because it wasn't on when I went in, but when I said, "Well, I'm going to leave now and head it out," huh? Well, that obviously came on because. There was a light I looked. Yeah. You know. I have a, a similar story of like something just not wanting to talk. Um, mm. Whose office did you say that first one was? That's Josh's office. So I was in Josh's office. That's the computer room, right? You're talking about that first one where the computer would turn where on. Where the monitor turned yeah. on. Yes. Yeah. The, yeah, monitor. Um, so I was live. I had the K2 Spirit Ball. Um, what else did I have? The REM pod. The REM pod and the other EMF uh, reader. Wasn't getting anything the whole live session, which is probably, what, 30 minutes? Um, I turned off the live. I was like, all right, well, I'll come back. You know, it's early on in the investigation. Maybe things just aren't ready to kickstart, you know. Um, so I turned off the live. I'm just sitting there just seeing if anything just maybe might flicker or whatever. And then, lo and behold, the, the, right, the K2 meter did start to flicker. It kind of quick little... You know, whatever. So I wasn't sure. I was asking questions. I was like, look, is there you know, somebody here that would like to communicate? And didn't say nothing. I was like, all right, well, I'm getting ready to leave, you know, whatever. And then I started, it just started going off like crazy. Um, so I'm like, well, do you not want me to be in here? And it started going off like crazy. Keep in mind, it hasn't gone off this whole time and up to that point. Um, so I'm like, okay, well... One more question, just to verify 100%, if you want me to leave, make this go off. And by this time, I waited a few seconds just to make sure it wasn't some like random spike either. Yeah. So I waited a few seconds, asked that question, and it started just redlining, just all the way up, staying on. I was like, all right, fine, I'll leave, but I'll be back. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's just, it was it was weird. Uh, also, so that was the office they heard the typing in. Mm -hmm. And it, it just as kind of a note... Um, your co-worker was telling us this at your Christmas party, I think. And towards the end of the day, he was telling one of your other co-workers about, like, oh, man, I heard this weird, and if I recall correctly, as he's telling, you know, this other guy about it, something knocked off a bunch of stuff off of the work table.
Okay. Yeah, that was in the Omnis. Um, we have another business within Protocol 80. It's like an IT um, business, and they have an office, and they were in their office, yeah. and that's where that happened. It like fell off the workbench. Mm -hmm. And they tried to see like, oh, maybe it just, but he was like, no. Was yeah, like, he tried to like recreate it, and he's like, mm, yeah. yeah. Well, I think the vibe we got is whatever was there, and the vibe you were kind of talking about, the, mm -hmm. it, it likes attention. It wants people to know, like, hey, I'm, I'm here. Hey, look at me. Yeah. Acknowledge me. Well, <laughs> you know, we were me, talking And about... I think the other stuff, there, we had a lot of interaction, mm -hmm. just with nothing benevolent, but they seem to really like the attention. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We were talking about this earlier, but um, sometimes it'll go a couple weeks, and I won't even hear or see anything, and it's kind of like you forget. You forget about mm -hmm. it, and then... Um, something will just pop up behind me or I'll hear like a conversation that's happening and nobody else is in the building or something will happen to kind of like remind you like, hey, don't forget about me. Oh, yeah, which is also something your other co-workers have reported mm -hmm. is hearing people talking, hearing the people come into the building, the electronic locks engage and disengage, I, I, like somebody's coming in. Did you say you witnessed that yourself? That was actually, I got there really early. I just could not sleep, so I drove into work early, and I was there like ungodly early, and I was sitting there, and I heard the magnetic door lock like disengage and re-engage, and I'm like, oh, wow, people get here this early? And yeah. like I looked down, and nobody came in. Like Nobody was there. It was just... But it was definitely the sound of when that door, oh, it makes a very distinct yeah. noise. I think, Did so, you hear yeah. the typing that same morning after it came in? No. This no, was a different That would be really yeah. cool. Yeah. And I, think, I did hear a conversation the one time in the, uh, the direction of the Omnis Technology office. Nobody else was there, but I was getting ready to leave. I had stayed late later that day, and I went to go use the restroom, and I was walking towards the restroom, and I hear like We've a couple people talking. We've been trying to regarding your cost yes. extended yes. warranty. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I start to head towards there, and I'm like in the bathroom, and I'm like, wait a second, nobody else is here. Like, who did I hear talking? Yeah. So like, I hurry up, I wash my hands, grab my bag, like head outside, and nobody's in the parking lot. Yeah. Like the only car out there is mine and the Omnis van that stays there. So. It's a ghost. Yeah. Part, part of that story, she washed her hands too. Yeah, you know, I don't <laughs> normally do that, but... You know. Usually we just wipe and let yeah. it go. Yeah. With my hands. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Hands. You wipe and use it as facial? Uh, here, here. What's that? I'm going to have right a big now. bottle of hand moisturizer, moisturizer on, on my desk. Awesome. On there you go. Yep. Yeah. But... Um, so what was some of the first stuff? Uh, because you got that pretty early. Anybody oh else get anything early? It was when early, I didn't. Uh, more things happened midway and later in the evening the for me. Spirit Box session in the with Bill happened oh, earlier on. Lisa, you and Lisa I think and Bill. Lisa, were you in there with me and Bill? Yeah. Okay. We were in there. I was on the Spirit Box with the the blindfold on, and um, Bill Robertson, our friend um, and fellow investigator. Um, he had come with us because he was going to write like a little thing in his one of his Which upcoming uh, Ghost Revisited books. Six. Yep. Right. Check him out, William P. Robertson. Um, but I am not sure of the questions that were asked because I had the headphones on. But I do remember hearing the name Rachel. I remember hearing her age. Was it six or eight? And I six, thought six. Maybe six. Um, but I heard like six. I heard all these random things, and then I like took off my headphones and I look at Bill and Lisa, and I'm like, "Is any of this making any sense?" They're like. Yeah, and Bill was like a little taken aback because I don't know. He's never, never, he's gonna he's ask never all done a spirit box session, yeah. so I look at him and he's just like, <laughs> what? <laughs> this is really but, happening. But, <laughs> but I mean, he thought it was really cool, yeah. but I think it kind of, yeah, set him back a bit. But Lisa, do you remember <laughs> any of the specific questions that we uh, asked her? I don't. I just remember. <laughs> I mean, if I listened to it, like, if I would have listened yeah. to it. In all fairness, we ask a million questions yeah. that's that's night. Yeah, right. but it was like the general, is there, you know, is there somebody here, you know, tell us your name. Did you do this or that? And we yeah. got Rachel for that. Yeah. yeah. Through the spirit box, that right? age was six. Oh, I heard... and I think there was another one that came through. There was a guy that came through, and it was supposed to be, like, her dad. Okay. Oh, I remember you Like, it was, you said it was her dad, and then yeah. she was... Her At one point, was kind of scared. The building. Yeah, yeah. But Just for viewers' sake, the reason a lot of times we probably don't remember every detail is because these our investigations are several weeks ago. We're just 
it takes a while to catch up on the yeah. podcast. I'm going to start taking notes. And we're busy, after. and we actually do a lot of investigation. Yeah. yeah. So. And it's hard to remember back. Well, and even in, even if it was, even if we did this podcast the day after, yeah. you know, like you get really excited, and it's 2, 3 in the morning. Yep. You know, or, or, like, or like, you're yeah. really yeah. just running off their six cup of coffee. Together. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's lots of coffee and granola, mm. and then your brain is like, yeah. Tell some know, cereal bars. Yeah. <laughs> well, you said, Rachel, when I was in one of the rooms, I don't know which one it was, a little girl said she was under 10, and then she was in the building, and then she likes to walk around. So I, it must have been Rachel. It must have been Rachel. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Lisa also got that on her ride. That's what I was going to ask if she got, yeah. Um, do you remember that conversation? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, she was asking, also said she was a nine-year-old little girl. I think it even said Rachel at that time. And, and I'm like, well, how did you and your dad end up here? And she says, well, we are live in that house over there. And we were, you know, because I was pointing out the window. I said, we were pointing out that way. Because she said she wasn't from this building. It was a building outside. And, you know, I pointed at a house across this, you know, the, the parking lot. And she said that was where they they were. And she said their dad is there to protect her. And you don't hear that too often of a spirit being able to travel yeah. to another. Why would they yeah. come over? Maybe. Well, but we did find out later because Lisa on a rod it said that her funeral service was held in that building. We don't. She didn't say for sure that that's why she was there. But she did say her funeral service was, was there. Uh, and then we did find out, too, with that church, sometimes they would have the funeral services. Yeah, if they were in bigger. That building. Yeah. Most of the time it was in the actual it, church. It would also make sense, though, if she lived, was a little girl who lived across the street. That's their rec center. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. where she came and had fun. Probably went to church. Well, day. they did you know. Sunday school there yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah, and they had like a gym. <laughs> Kind of thing. Was it somebody I, saying they had like a little It looks like it could be. A like, you know, I'm not sure, but they. I thought maybe Bill was. Maybe. That because he painted that place. Oh yeah, yeah I do remember. Yeah, him saying I think that where he... your your cubicles are, they mm -hmm. had like a miniature basketball court and you know like stuff for like for community kids, stuff. Yeah. yeah. And so like that's probably you know could be a place and she it, had a good time. It's a really small you know town kind of yeah. not super far from Bradford, but it's like. You know, so I could see why the kids yeah. would. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'd go over there, you'd hang out, you know, do like. And who knows why she's still there, why she didn't move on. Well, it could also be something related with the father. Maybe that could be too. He's, he's waiting for something, yeah. and the, the, the daughter's waiting for well, that. And I think we talked about before on the podcast, my theory too is like that ghosts have a totally different idea of time. You know, if she died off of even. But I don't think it was a hundred years ago. She seemed much more contemporary. Yeah, yeah. But even a hundred years to a ghost could be a short period of time. To mm -hmm. Yeah. You know. Because how do we know? If time yeah. There's their the the measurement there. of time. Well, we don't know what their different plan kinds of exactly. looks like. Yeah. And she also might not always be at PA. Mm -hmm. You oh, know, yeah. she might just come and, over and then, when she sees people are there because like, Ooh, she and likes that's to interact. That she wouldn't yeah. respond to when we asked her. You know. Uh, if she was there all the time. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. She said, toys. you know, she just wouldn't respond. Yeah, we had toys, we had, toys, we had people like, what there. What kid wouldn't want to come over and, you know, play with well, all the neat I'd stuff. like to play with that boo bear. Speaking yeah. of I'm toys, not a kid. do you want to talk about? <laughs> the ball? Yeah. Yeah, um, oh, well, we had been doing a, uh, yeah. like, a, I think we were doing a spirit box session for a while. We were for a we while, were, yeah. And everybody had left, and I just kind of sat in there, and, like, I was super excited because we had a lot of activity with, like, the different equipment in there. So I was like, I took the uh, spirit ball and I turned it on and I sat it down. And it's normal for it to maybe like roll a little bit or something because it settles. But it rolled and it lit up and it kept rolling and it kept like switching directions. Yeah. And then the light went off. The fact that it switched it stopped directions stopped moving several and times. then starts like moving again and it lights up again. Yeah, and it like, it, definitely looked like something was manipulating. Somebody, like, was, playing um, somebody yeah. was playing with it. We actually have a clip of that on our Facebook channel. Yeah. Check us out, yep. Spirit Hunters 8. And um, we'll be posting it, probably maybe tack it on to the end of this podcast, but as a short too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, it's also on our YouTube channel. Oh, also the... Oh, it is on Yeah. Our, yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's yeah. on TikTok too. And you can see it. It's, it the light turns off, which yeah. means it stopped moving. 
you know, yeah. and then and, something and then it switches. It's it yeah, switch it directions, just, like, turns the light back on, and starts moving again. Because I was kind of thinking, well, you know, it's an old building. Maybe it's not, you know, like. Well, level. that's what level. I thought at first. But then it would only roll one way. It wouldn't. It, it wouldn't would come back. back. Well, it, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it, it would also stop wouldn't and start stop again. and then start again. Yeah. Yeah. It literally so it like just, like a kid was just going and like kind of just yeah. moving it. You know, mm-hmm. it was it was really strange. And then we used the cat ball, me, you, and Chrissy, um, to talk to Rachel, and we were like, "Can you light it up if it's Rachel?" And it lit up, and you know, verified the things that Lisa was getting on the rods and people we were and getting, on the, getting on the K2, K2. Yeah. like it was given the same affirmative answers to all of us through all the different equipment yeah even though initially when you heard rachel on the spirit box you thought it was oh, talking about I a thought, co-worker well the thing is because we knew that this thing may be a little bit of a trickster and like to like stir people up a little bit um, when I heard Rachel, again, we're doing the sensory deprivation thing. I have, you know, the headphones on, a blindfold on, so I don't know what they're asking. And, um, like, when I heard Rachel, I was like, oh, no. I'm like, it's it's saying something about, like, my coworker, Rachel. And she, she like, is interested in ghosty type stuff, but, like, I knew that would scare the total living hell out of her so i'm like i'm not telling her that i'm not telling her this <laughs> name i'm not saying yeah. I'm not telling her i heard her name but then after we like we talked after the spirit box session i'm like okay well that that's this this yeah. little ghost girl. so now i call them big and little rachel yeah. and well, one time we did ask her if she knows rachel who works here and she said yes and Oh, you asked Did you, oh, do you that. use that name because you like it? And it said yes. Oh, I didn't take that. I thought. Oh, you, yeah, I, I remember had one you that said that. You like that? You she has the same name. Yeah, that's yeah. What I I if you yes. like that, she has the name. yeah. Yeah. Um, and well, when Chrissy like texts me from work, she's like, "Oh, you know, like Rachel and I just went to lunch or something like that." I'm like, "Living Rachel or dead Rachel?" <laughs> she's like, "Everyone, <laughs> adult Rachel or child?" Rachel? Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, so early in the night, uh, me, Chrissy, Lance, and grandmother were in, whose office is that second one? That's Donnie's office. Donnie's office. Uh, we were on TikTok Live, right? Well, we were all in there. Yeah. yeah right? I well, that was, well, remember, Dad and Lisa no, came in before. later. Yeah. The shadow part was just us. Oh, was And then it? it happened again when oh. we were, they came in. Um, so I was on live. Chrissy and one of us were on the spirit box at the time, one of these two at the moment. And, um... Someone on the live kept saying that they, they see a shadow going crazy behind behind one of our heads and just kept moving back and forth really quickly or whatever. Um, so that was like the first little something's going on there. Mm-hmm. Um, more, more than one person on TikTok. Yeah, saw, three people. Saw something. Yeah, at moving. the same time, all said, hey, there's some, there's a, some a shadow moving behind you. Um, and one person said they saw something outside. Yeah. Too. Oh, that's what we were talking about earlier. The other person that said they saw something outside oh, was, was them. Yeah. Because yeah. shortly afterwards, I saw something move. Yeah. Out there. And after that too, we sent a couple of you guys out to mm-hmm. look, and yeah, you know. Um, I think so, they went outside though, because when I jumped on, I kept saying outside. Yeah. Oh, and that's yeah. When you guys oh yeah. Yeah. Outside. We were radioing yeah. in. And, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's when I, I walked outside. That out. was. This was actually yeah. after this part though. But yeah. After they came in too. Um, you guys were in there when I was in the spirit box, so that means it was right after. Um, I get, I'm on the spirit box, I don't know how long, I don't remember, just a few minutes in, and I think it was Dad asked, or maybe it was Chrissy who said, hey, can you respectfully, you know, touch Hunter on the knee? Keep in mind, I'm blindfolded. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're blindfolded, I got the headphones on with the spirit box, on full volume going through my ears. I don't know why I'm looking at the TV when I should be looking at the camera. <laughs> um, Seven minutes. That's how long I was on it? I was watching the time. So yeah, not not very long. And one of them asked, can you touch my knee? And then right after, they said, can you also, or can you touch Hunter's head as well? Keep in mind, we also have that video on TikTok. Well, I said, touch his hat. Yeah. Yeah. We have that video on TikTok and this or in YouTube. But yeah, so it says, can you touch Hunter's knee and then Hunter's hat? And unknowingly, without looking up to them or responding in any way, I went, touched my knee for whatever reason, adjusted it, and then, you know, kind of went like this with my hat. Like, within seconds. Yeah. It was yeah. like a, it, I don't think, whatever is that, P80 is, I don't think it's negative. No, and I don't no, think no. it's that strong. No. So I think it was 
where like other times where we felt something touch. It's a yeah. definite. I think whatever is there is it decent strong enough to let you know it's there. Yeah. But I think it did touch you, but it was so light that just subconsciously it didn't even you just feel just, like, yeah. like, yeah, like, like you're adjusting your yeah. I also want to add that right after that happened, when you guys, because I said it out loud, and you were like, oh, what well, you guys said? Because I, like, I did it, whatever, and you guys, whoa, that's that's a really strange coincidence or yeah. whatever. And then I hear on a spirit box a woman's, <laughs> like a woman's chuckle, like, ha, I got you. Yeah. I did what you wanted to type of thing, you know. But yeah, it was it was it was pretty strange. Uh, like I said, go check those out on our social media yeah. platforms. You know, Facebook. When he was on that TikTok, too, we were getting cat ball activity, YouTube. and Grandma was getting K two meter Spike. activity. Yeah. Yeah. Something definitely was you know responding to us, and it seemed to really enjoy the attention. I mean, really. Oh, uh, in the conference room. Mm -hmm. um, Remember when, at one point in time, you were holding your hand out and you said you yeah. felt like... Yeah, so what, what, was, what was I doing to get the, my attention to come over here? What were we, I, I think you would, if I recall correctly, the cat ball was here and it was going off, and then, like, maybe the K2 or one of them was, like, holding, like, a spike or Maybe, something. or we were, I don't know. But anyway, so I'm sitting in the farthest chair on the left side of the table in the conference room. We're all in here, by the way. Um... Whatever, something made me put my hand out. Somebody was talking about a cold spot or something like that. Or maybe yeah. I stretched and I felt like something touched on my arm because I was like, well, I could feel something on my hand right now. And you guys all came over, you know. And didn't you they, feel for like hold your hand? And, kind of like, like, but it was more of my wristy thumb area. It wasn't mm -hmm. like holding my hand. It was like they kind of just grabbed, yeah. you and, know. And really lightly. like yeah. yeah. And it wasn't just me that felt this. After I'm sitting there, they all got up and felt it in... You guys all felt the same. It was like a you feel like energy. It was yeah. It was yeah. like a warmy, like almost like a tingly, warm, vibrationy yeah. feeling. Not necessarily like someone's grabbing you, but like something is like, like you know, to. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, someone does that little, yeah, <laughs> you know, it was the weirdest thing. But the yeah. fact that we all kind of felt that just you yeah, know, like I said, I feel like it's confirms just that some normal ghost. Yeah, you know, and she's not just wants strong to enough necessarily to do a hole, but like mm -hmm. trying to like, like no, I'm, I'm oh, here. It's drawing the energy from my you. hand. That's what it is. I'm, I'm trying. Yeah. <laughs> well, one time in that evening, I got a ten-year-old boy who said he was uh, there because of a funeral. Maybe Somebody he's playing like with Rachel. Robert? Or is that Maybe, but thing? see what I think was hard though is because the the older male entity. He likes to also joke, admitted so he that he likes that. to just yeah. mess BS. Yeah, and mess yeah because yeah. we got that on EVP. Yeah, in that front row. Oh yeah, oh. about that. We Remember that? Oh. Go ahead. Sorry, I just don't want to forget the vo that weird voice thing we heard on your EVP. That what was that like? Um, that clear laugh or whatever. Well, that's what I. That's yeah. the thing. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you, I don't. I don't remember it. <laughs> I don't know. I just know that we were asking questions. It was me, you, and your mom in the room with the monitor that kept going on on and off. We were just asking NK2, questions. Uh, well, yeah, well, yeah. I, mm -hmm. um, and then whatever questions, I don't remember the questions, but when I was listening back on my phone on the EVP, um, I think it was you that had asked, so are, do you like playing pranks on people? Mm -hmm. And it responded and, and followed by like a laughter. Yeah. yeah, like, like a, a deep man. Let's yeah. keep in mind, we'll have to see if I can get the clip and I'll try to post that audio version of it. But it was a very clear, almost like distinct to a lot. It was, yeah. it was really well, odd. Well, and that you guys well, were, said something like, I think it was this, I do. <laughs> yeah. 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 It, it was, uh, it was pretty cool. I forgot about that. We've, yeah. Yeah. we've talked about it. We that. also that's asked, a, that's the same okay guy who said he was in his 20s, things? I think. Yeah. Well, um, we already said Rachel. Well, I know a lot of them. It I guess it depends. I don't want to... We'll just your, mention your one of the... Your person there? Uh, we got to be careful with, like, the owners. That's what call. he's asking. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't risk her. it just but in yeah, case. But, yeah, you can mention But we don't want to thank the owners and management for yeah. allowing us yeah. to yeah, be yeah, there. Yeah, thank you. Well, it's just during that session is when you were asking, like, oh, do you, do you like to, you know, try to mess with Chrissy when she's working? And it was like, yeah. And I said, well, you know... Her friend Holly, who you met too, like yeah. at the beach. Which, she's Lisa the and I one got some who, action in Holly's office. Too. Yeah, she's the one who ended up turning her 
uh, the front of her desk towards the door because she kept feeling yeah. something come and, and it made her feel like kind of like weird. It was significant like, enough to when make you it, guys it, ask, you know, character. do you like messing with Holly? Like it, they got a much higher like it, it seemed to spike. like yeah. you know because she like moved Holly. her desk is like she reacted yeah. to it a little more and yeah, he I'm was just like, like eh. yeah I'm just kind of like you get that kind of reaction yeah. you're, you're yeah. having fun and of course there's the same guy who also least told you that there was something in the yard right oh, barely. <laughs> yeah well when we went outside because somebody saw a shadow mm -hmm. lisa took her rods mm. and and they were talking to you yeah i don't know how much of that came out i don't know if you spoke to your bosses or anything about you can that go ahead incident and talk about what or anything but yeah, they didn't. I, don't when know they, I was just kind of waiting till this came out and then I could hear it <laughs> yeah. all because I wasn't going to remember everything. Right. So. That's why they yeah. get it all one. It kind of helps that we do this. The too. PA the employees, I think, are the majority of our YouTube video viewers because, like, almost <laughs> all, 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 all of them are like, oh, yeah, we all watch your podcast. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. We're kind of a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> We're kind of famous. <laughs> <laughs> At PA. Yeah, PA. <laughs> all right. So go ahead. What happened? I want to be famous. You. Um, yeah, we had went outside, um, and I took the rides with me, and I was like, I say, show me, and they point me in a direction to go, and it took me to a bush, which just coincidentally happens to be the bush. Outside of Josh's George office. W. Bush. The office Where we saw the <laughs> shadow. Yeah. Um, and I'm like, okay, so what about the bush? Is there something here? And it kept saying yes, so just general questions. Um asked if there was something buried behind the bush. It pointed to the ground, didn't it? No, it, did, it just was just oh, like yes or no. Like, so okay. yeah, I went over and I just kind of walked and I said, okay, well cross, let me know where whatever is buried. And so when I get to the spot they cross, and I'm like, okay, is it something buried right here? And they said, yes. Yeah. So I start asking questions. They told me there was a gun buried there, I don't know. Yeah. And, we'll and it's clear, like it I, said a certain length yeah, down. We'll didn't have it? to take the metal no, detector it didn't over say, there. But like, <laughs> yes, it did. It yeah, said I asked how far down how it was. How far down, and it did answer that. It, it said about like a foot or something. Yeah, like that. but and they I was, just done some I felt that could have been a trickster. Yeah. Yeah. And I have that already in my head. So I did move some rocks yeah. and stuff, went four or five inches down. But I wasn't going to well, dig them. That's what I was going to say. Up. They had just dug yeah. that up to do landscaping. Right. Like, I like I think he enjoyed, you know. Messing sending us in a wild people. Having yeah. people go out yeah. there yeah. and be like, yeah, exactly. oh, On a cold oh, night, I, the frozen cold night. night. Yeah. Yeah. But I wasn't cold, so. Ugh. Sneak behind a bush. <laughs> you know. behind a bu yeah, there's a gun under there. Yeah. Big. In the back of the bush. Yeah, in the back of the bush where it's been dug up in the last year. To, you know, plant that stuff. You know, like, he. I think he really gets a kick out of getting a rise out of people. Yeah. So especially it happen especially the girls. Um, we, we were out for a smoke, a few of us smoke. I came in and down that hallway, <laughs> uh, down that hallway uh, where those two offices are, it goes into the, uh, an open area where there's a bunch of cubbies or um, cubicles. I saw like a shadow of a guy walking by, uh, left to right. And I yelled, Lance, was that you? And Lance was in an area close to there, but he hadn't walked by there. At the same time, I go up to check Mom and I, and she's getting some readings, by the way, again on her K2. It's going crazy. Um, and I had uh, a bell meter, yeah, which was also like going it. crazy. Yeah, the K2 is attracted to Grandma. So you know, she, I think the spirits in general are. Yeah. yeah. Um, Oh. And then Lance hears voices in the same area. In a uh, good way. Men's voices, right? I think yeah, like like somebody just talking. But I could hear that it wasn't you and Hunter because you were somewhere else. But mm -hmm. it was like, kind of like you described. Like, they're not talking Direction. to you yeah. in the kind of the back. Would you like, look go down towards the hall, conference Chrissy? room of the cubicle area. Okay. Ish, like the back side of it. Yeah. Your office is over here, then mm -hmm. you, you know, that it goes to this hallway, goes mm -hmm. to their offices, right through there. It was when all that was happening. Okay. Um, and it looked like, I thought it was a man with just no features, really dark, man sized, but thicker than Lance. That mm -hmm. must be what walks up behind me, and I see like the, it, it blocks out the light, and I saw the reflection the one time. Yeah, pretty good because sized. It would have guy. To be pretty and Hunter had, was still outside, so I knew what him, so the only one I yelled out for was Lance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, wasn't in the class, but no. It was kind of cool. And like the 
voices just was not talking to any of us. Was it like two people talking to each other? Or I could just one? Only, I heard it was almost like a conversation. The one. The time. most that I could pick up was a male voice that, mm -hmm. like, I couldn't. Maybe it was talking to some. Well, it wasn't talking to me. It was yeah. talking to somebody else. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I didn't that. really get much of the other end because it was still like mm -hmm. I couldn't tell what it was saying. But it was just somebody like. Yeah, yeah. Well, in the process of having a conversation. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I only ever heard a female voice the entire time I was there too. Like, but you heard one audibly or over the spirit. Box? Oh, spirit box. Okay. Sorry. Oh no, that was just. Yeah, that's. I was. Uh, yeah. I was in the kitchen Locked. where that opening is, yeah. where you can see the cubbies, and just heard some dude talking like in the back of the cubby section. What the heck? Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty neat. Didn't that yep. ding dong go off a lot back there? No, the. the that oh, the doorbell thing? We went through a lot there. Yeah. Uh, a lot. I was trying to pretend like I was Chrissy, and I don't think the ghost bought it. Because <laughs> I, mean, I, I was, a lot I was like sitting at your desk, and I was like, I'm Chrissy, and I'm talking stuff. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and and he said the hell you but are. Because, like, that's how I impersonate Chrissy. So, like, I kept triggering the doorbell, and I'd be like, it's me. <laughs> and then I'd be like, do, 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 and I'm like, it's me. You know? <laughs> I right, finally, like, yeah, we were it. over there with, yeah. yeah I was over like, there. I set up my phone to record and, like, pretended like I was working at your little workstation. Yeah. Uh, also, with me, <laughs> I even, took, I even, work I even took my shoes off to, to get the full <laughs> Chrissy effect because she doesn't sit like a people. A you know, she takes her shoes off and she's got like her feet her up, legs behind her head. Head. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> up at the front of the building, I forget what went off, but something went off to make me think somebody was up there. So I went up there and looked. Um, didn't see anything. So I went into the conference room on the left hand door on the, where the main entrance is. And uh, I was, while I was standing in there, the door closed behind me. It was stuck in an open position, <laughs> but it closed behind me. So I thought it was one of you two over here messing with me. So I pushed the door open real fast. Nobody was there, but I thought that was kind of cool. Yes. It actually, it seemed like it lured, lured me in there. And then, you know, of course, we did get a lot of action in that room, especially with cat balls. It was several minutes long. Speaking um, of doors being closed, stay tuned to our next episode ooh, ooh, of the Van Horn Mansion. Oh, I can't really excited about that. That's the coming up. That's, that's coming one. up. Yeah. Um, yeah. So overall, we got pretty, uh, really activity. pretty good activity. Yeah. yeah. For a place that I like wasn't expecting anything yet. Mm -hmm. You know, I was still I was like skeptical. And like, eh. Verified almost every everything that you're uh, aside from hearing typing, but co like that your coworkers have experienced. Mm -hmm. We're like, yeah, like we have most of that on yeah. tape. Yeah. You know, like, yeah, oh, yeah. Nope, there's definitely something well, you here. Know, like, you watch these shows, you see they have K2 meters and things going on. Yeah. It looks like it's all the time, but that's 10 hours that they shortened down in a half an hour period. Mm -hmm. Right. We were getting K2 and mel meter readings at that place almost nonstop. Yeah. And a lot of REM pod and uh, spirit ball mm -hmm. stuff too. Oh, yeah. yeah. We had a few yeah. REM pod chirps mm -hmm. too. Like, not like long, like sustained, but uh, like. That one time we did. It was it? Did yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, I, I, I'd like, you know, I walked out of the room. We didn't get anything in that time I was in there. I was in there by myself. I walk out, and that stupid rip pod starts going off like crazy, and the cat ball starts flashing like <laughs> as after I walked out of the room. Mm -hmm. So I walk back in, and I'm like, oh, you want to talk now? Nothing. Nothing. I start to walk out again, <laughs> things start going off again. <laughs> I'm like, I, well, I, I maybe see. it was happy you were leaving. I, did, I just said, you're an ass. Yeah. You know, you know <laughs> yeah. in a funny way. But. Trickster. Yeah. Loki. Yeah. <laughs> um, and did you have any reports of us? I don't know if I even remember to ask, like increased activity after we did? I haven't heard anything about that. I mean, me personally, like. Uh, like I, I might get something for a few days and then I don't get anything yeah. for a few weeks and then but I haven't heard anything like about the Monday after it I didn't hear like, anything about any increased activity or anything like that no I think we gave it what it wanted I think it was they like you maybe know, it was yeah. too tired there, but it was really tickled to have a bunch of people mm -hmm. in there in the middle of the night yeah you know paying attention to it. And there was more than one. There was at least two entities. I would think yeah, three or four. I would with what I was getting yeah. I talked to what they said were three different people. Right. 
and there was some other history too. There was a big robbery and a couple murders that were close to there that I did in the research. Yeah, back in the 1800s, so, like long before the. So it's yeah. possible that it could be anything that, in there. That's why they were saying, "Oh, the gun is hidden here." Yeah, and some spirits they just go from they place know. to place. They go pretty much wherever they want. You know. Yeah. Who knows? Well, we don't actually even know what was on that property before, because the church the built their building in the 1930s. I yeah. Think, I right? do not know I that year. I think yeah. the, the <laughs> church was there before. Yeah. The That little part where the uh, recreation yeah. area was, I think, in the 30s. I think it was the 30s, or, but there had to have been something there before then. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You no, because like, that's, yeah, well, that's a whole we, we were looking yeah. at it, there was, there was two houses there. Oh, okay. Um, and part of a third one. Yeah. Well, you area. have that. Like right? on that exact lot? Or yeah. No? Okay. Which makes sense because you have that little shed building. It was definitely a rural yeah, house. Like it went to a a house. residential street that they right. kind of right. added something later. You know. Know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was surprisingly pretty active and pretty fun night, especially with Bill coming out and yeah. you know, watching his yeah. reactions. And yeah. Stuff is, is I mean, fun. it would have been. I think he would have had fun if he had stayed a little longer, but Bill goes to bed at like six yeah. o'clock every night. He, he also he gets out. up a little bit. He did. He, he stayed till like ten or something yeah, like that. Yeah, he, like, he, he, he was like, pretty oh, close to go home. He's <laughs> worried about him driving because he's usually in bed for yeah. hours. But yeah, night. he seemed to really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The other night we had uh, he, Bill over, and he had native fry bread for the first time. We had uh, native mm. tacos. Ooh. And he said so good, and he stayed up pretty late that night for him. Yeah, he said he slept for twelve hours straight. He said, yeah. as long as he slept in years. <laughs> he said he kept. He said, make sure you tell your wife how delicious it was. How great it was. <laughs> put, put, yeah, yeah put him in the food coma. Yeah, and it knocked him right out, did it? Magic you know? right. Yeah. Magic and, and right. I, completely they, satisfied. Yeah. <laughs> and Chrissy's coworkers were pretty tickled with the yeah. investigation. Yeah. They wanted to do a. Like, well, a, like a work a co -work, investigation. Yeah, like a yeah, work Friday afternoon. Work yeah. investigation. I just want me to yeah. like we could bring some just the basic equipment like the and uh, rim pod and the yeah. K2. Yeah, stuff like, like that. Spare yeah. boxes. You're gonna have to take the lead, yeah. show them what to do. You yeah. might be fine. Now that you're a Caesar Rebecca, though, sometimes better. when you work or live in a place and you really familiarize and you start focusing that energy, yeah. things get stronger. And they it's called start, manifestation. Yeah, yeah, they'll start to uh, becoming a little more active, probably. Or <laughs> I don't think they mind too much. Chrissy, be typing like Lester, typing away, and then something starts typing for I'll her. I'll just be yeah. like, by she all goes by all means. She goes, she goes me do it. This, this is Chrissy. She's typing away. She's just trying to still typing. Still typing and you're like, <laughs> I totally <laughs> picture the scene from Ghost, yeah, Sam. Sam. Oh, Sam. I thought you were talking like Chrissy's typing and the ghost comes up behind and he's like, oh, oh my. My. <laughs> Or it could be worse, it could be like the brain and that the girl comes out of the screen. Yeah. Oh, oh. It comes out of the screen and starts typing for her. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you want to do some questions, we got a few general questions. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Behind producer. What's that? Don't Behind forget the to introduce our yeah. little producer. Our little producer. Oh, yeah. Come here. want to thank our producer for today, <laughs> Hope White Eagle. Oh, a little further, Hope. A little further in towards towards us. Oh, oh. Right. There, there, there you, there you there are. You are. <laughs> <laughs> She's right. the one working the camera for us right oh, now. Oh, and show, show the camera the back of the shirt, too. Oh, oh yeah, yeah here, these are our new golf shirts. Get in shirts. front of the table so you can see you better. Look at that. And All right. links to our, our shirts and our hats and stuff. You can Show find uh, pinned to the top of our now, Facebook Do our little page. ghost dance. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, feel free to check out our store. Um, links to everything on our Facebook. You can also go to our website, uh, spearhunters.group. Get all of our socials on there. On our Facebook, our website's linked right up to the top. It's a mm -hmm. pinned, pinned post. So yeah, feel free to check that out. Yeah. Um, so we got a handful of questions. And you guys jump in whenever. <coughs> um, so one of them we got is, do you think there are actually like malevolent forces? Spiritually. Mal mal malevolent? Malevolent. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, there yeah. are. Yeah, there are. Yeah. Certainly, yeah. things that we've uh, 
uh, covered a lot in our personal lives in the past. Yep. And We've lots covered of some different ways and places. Yes. Yeah. Mimic House. Yeah. Yep. Check that scope out. That's that's a cool that's a cool edit. You guys gotta watch that on YouTube channel. I mean Grandma had this thing that was causing <laughs> live scratches to appear on her for a long time. We won't talk about the rest of that. Mm -hmm. But it was the coolest thing and she here's what's coming up and she get this blood red scratch right Maybe here. Maybe before we figured out what was going on, she had him. She was riddled with them all over her body. I was gonna say maybe we'll make a part two, but we'll age restrict it, so that just the adults, you know, we'll get a little more personal. If we not with those specific stories, but you we're know, the gentleman in in the tuxedo who came to talk to me. Yeah, okay, but he got to be not nice. You know, but careful. so yeah, we do definitely. Now, we also don't think in a, just Can our you, uh, you know personal pit. Not everything is demonic no and we don't no. deal with not everything stuff. actually is kind of rare and yeah. not everything that comes in you think that might be evil or bad is demonic either no it's that's right. it's there's so say. many horror movies out there that people yes. put that evil you know connotation they just it, assume that everything the, like that it is yeah. pretty rare yeah. for yeah. Well, there could be spirits that are just Nars. generally peed off people that just yeah. you know don't I mean, like anybody you could have spirits of somebody who was a bad person in life who's still going to be a bad person in that. And yeah. you don't want you to don't just change your whole you know. Well, why does it seem like there's so many of them? There's probably a reason why they're not moved on to whatever else that they have to do yep. in their spiritual journey. More likely, probably, it's Maybe, people that yeah. have something to, to That they're afraid of, they're from. worried about. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, and we do, I don't want to speak for all of us, but I know, like, Shane and, and, and I and Mom and stuff believe that you know there are other entities that aren't even necessarily demonic that are not that are negative. Yeah, entities. there are all kinds of other stuff that has yeah. nothing to do with demons or you know ghosts. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff in between. In between, between all kinds of entities. And we've uh, experienced a few of those things. So it's um. Well, we actually you kind of answered that one too, right? There. About paranormal. Uh, yeah. Do you do you have any ghosts that you keep in touch with? I do. Oh sure. I live with them. Yeah. yeah <laughs> Two of them. If you want. We've actually talked about them several times on our podcast yeah. before. And so. more information on that and uh, our podcast titled Our Ghost Stories. Yep. Which is going to be. Which we're going to do another one of those because apparently people really liked it. Mm -hmm. so. Yep. We'll try to put a link to the bottom of that in the description too. But yeah, check those out. They're all titled right on our you know YouTube channel. You can but see everything we've talked about so far. You're saying somebody you keep in touch with. Now we keep, the, uh, probably almost all of us. People who have moved on, that sometimes comes to visit, we keep mm -hmm. it. My father, yeah, you know, right. stuff like that. But yeah, yeah. actual yeah. ghosts, I know that I keep in touch with. You know, sometimes the ones in the house, I'll have to say something to. You know, hey, we're trying to sleep yeah. here. Especially the one that keeps knocking off our stuff. But, like we've never <laughs> gone back to like a, a site and like a ghost hunt to be like, hey, we're just coming in to visit you. Yeah. You know. <laughs> No. We missed you. The yeah. ones who live with well, us, we talk Rachel to. Rachel at P80, you kind of keep in touch with, I suppose. Yeah, you way. still work with her. <laughs> no, I mean, I do. Like, if I'm there by myself and I hear, I'll be like, oh, hey, you know. Like, yeah. <laughs> hey, Billy, how you doing? <laughs> yeah. Do you know around again? Okay, good to see you. See you in 15 cat. minutes. <laughs> hey. What? <laughs> Why is that a joke like that? Now, what now? What'd she say? She says she stays in touch with the one attached to her. Oh, oh. that we picked up from the Dudley. <laughs> you picked up from the Dudley. Not no, that. It wasn't we just her got fault. Stuck. <laughs> we should say again for people out there that at least it seems to be like a bag. You know, one of the questions I got the other day I forgot to tell you about is somebody asked us, "Do do we have a psychic on a team?" Not really. I think we all have certain psychic abilities to some degree, yeah. but not what good people would call a medium nowadays. No, we don't. Lisa's ability is only to attract stuff pretty much, you know. Um, but I think at but, certain times, anybody can. It depends on how you're open you are. Um, that really makes a difference. Yeah. But through her rods, she does. that would sound that psychic does. because she would only, they only respond to her. Yeah. Well, they're in tune to her. And yeah, they're, in, they're tune. in tune to her, and it seems like it, and that I do her worry ability about sometimes comes because through we don't know what's coming through. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Except it's that's why it personally good. attached to yeah. her the rods. And so I think there's a less couple likely things that tries to protect her. Yeah, you know. Yes. Yeah. Um, speaking of psychics, like my mama. Yeah. My mama so like one of the questions we actually had is do do you believe in psychics? 
Uh, yeah. Um, I right. think, it's like, no offense to anybody out there, I think more than 95% are, are probably not legitimate. Baloney. But I have definitely met certain ones, oh, and on. I've, you know, come in contact with people that oh, yeah, you are just different. Just one the other day. Made different, and yeah. lots of different ways. You know, okay. today's mediums have all these different things that they call themselves. There's different scales and It's the same with natives, except there's a lot more finer nuances, and there's all kinds of different things. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we might call them readers, yeah, or someone seers, else would yeah. call them a psychic, yeah, or, it, or a seer. You know, yeah. We have probably have the, the same, like like Shane said, like the vast majority are of people, like you know, in, in, they have full, like techniques like the ones on to TV. Yeah, pull things out of you. <laughs> yeah, magic, magic yeah. techniques. And I should yeah. say too, like the ones we know from the old days, Mental those people yeah. didn't want recognition. No. They came to you because you needed it, or you know, there's some kind of something brought you two mm -hmm. together. Um, the idea of you know, charging and paying were, and doing all right. these things and were private. TV, it's not really a, a normal thing for most native peoples that have special yeah. abilities. And, and some do, you know, some do and to that's make a okay. living. Like we're friends. Yeah. You were just talking about talking to a friend of ours who does, you know, charge to do readings for people. In, South Manka, you Oh, about. oh, yeah. yeah. Um, and why like I said, I don't know if he'd be comfortable with us using his name. So just you know, and he seems to be quite legitimate. Yeah, and um, he doesn't do it in like a native way. You no, know, he is more no, native. Yeah, um, he does it more with a, a, a yeah. Christian background type of thing, and his signs are all like Christian uh, based. Base. Yeah, right. Because so, yeah, that's he how. sees, you know. But I think the ones like that one who had the big TV show who got busted out. Oh for, yeah. You know, like like the, the most of those are full. Yeah, there's a lot of those. Yeah, the, uh, he got caught. Like he had like microphones, microphones in the lines, in the line the while seats. people are waiting to come in. You know, what? and then his under team, the seats and the yeah, audience would just listen for like people waiting in line. Oh, I hope my mom talks to me. Yeah. And then during his set, I, I'm getting a mother energy from right here. Over you know, here. <laughs> like yeah, That's like those. Cool. Yeah, but in general, I think we all agree that there are people with yeah abilities. Yeah, and and yeah. you know, not all groups are the same. You know, your investigators, you get a lot of ones that are a little, little scary to think they're masters of, you know, the spiritual world. Yeah. But I think that, you know. And there's the, nobody the, that's the, master I love the to watch, world. like Dave Schrader or people like that, or people that are really compassionate, open-minded, but aren't assuming, you know. Yeah. And they're certainly not going to try to, you know, tell you, well, this is exactly what a ghost is thinking and doing. And, you know, mm -hmm. we don't do that. Yeah, do you want to do that? I don't know how to really answer that one. It's what makes something paranormal? That'd be anything that's outside of the normal. normal. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> thus, yeah, paranormal. thus paranormal. Anything um, that's, you know, not necessarily not paranormal. Not easy explainable for one not thing. Anything that could ghosts, it could cryptids, Bigfoot. aliens. Yeah, yeah it, like, anything, anything outside right. of what is accepted as normal. Or right. normal. Yeah. The television normal. shows have geared us to uh, not normal. only ghost shows are paranormal, yeah, but that's not. not really true. Yeah, I, I think more so maybe that was asking about like, maybe even how do we determine if something is paranormal? Like, like Lisa's EVP, I get the letters mixed up. Yeah. You know, like we had something you'd say, I did and laughed. Or How I we determined that okay. wasn't paranormal was there's only three guys there. Yeah. And it, right. Definitely, it not, definitely any of was us. not our voice. <laughs> you know, we have to debunk. Considering Dad was right? the only one in there at that time, you and I were on the yeah. complete other side of the building. I mean, I'm, at the Dudley, I had a beard, so maybe it was me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Amish priest beard? Yeah. <laughs> well, she, she usually only sounds like a man when she's hungry. Yeah. Food! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so like yeah, we do stuff like that. Like listen to the EVPs, try to determine. Actually, we I usually pass them around and say, does this sound like? Yes. What does this sound think, like? Do you think you? this sounds like Hunter? Do you think this sounds like Chef? Yeah. You know. Could it be somebody in another room, one of mm -hmm. our group? We all 
listen hard and yeah, uh, yeah. try to debunk you know we have a, a k2 spiking we'll check to see if there's, if there's any electricity, wires or electricity right. coming out you right. know and if we get activity we try to verify it in multiple ways but yeah we try to debunk everything and whatever's left may then you may have proof but yeah. it may is part part yeah. of it because now, we, yeah. you may not think of everything in, in a way that you could debunk something yeah but you have a lot better chance and, after you yeah. try well like when the ball that, is rolling we try to test to make sure everything's level we put something on it to see if it rolls yeah, right mm -hmm. Um, make sure Hunter's not tipping we, the table. We hold I know our, I'm big, but I don't make the floor sink. Yeah. Make sure he's not leaning on it, because sometimes that'll... Yeah. Yeah. Make sure our other electronics are away from it. Yeah, Yeah. we go through, even like, like like the computer monitor turning on. Like, yeah. we didn't go through, like, any desk or, or anything stuff. like that. No, but we're the computer sitting monitor over, turns on, so we there's no, you visually know. check, like, is there anything, is there a yeah. computer or a mouse hooked to it? That would be waking up because maybe we charge. It's obvious yeah. there's a cord and there wasn't. To it or not. Yeah. yeah, and there, no there cord. wasn't. Like so, yeah. that's. And also, don't go into like if you're a, an investigator or a new wanted to be one. Don't go into an investigation just assuming that you're going to get something, and then if you don't, be like, don't. oh, am I doing something wrong? You know, type of thing. Just. Bear with it, because you, you're not always yeah. going to get stuff at every investigation. There are times hours that you get and hours, hours of doing nothing. nothing. And then yeah. there's places that you have. And then there's times and where we get go, something big and makes up for it all. You, you know? could go to the same place twice, and the first time get nothing. Exactly. And get a ton of stuff. It could We're, just be the day. It could like, be. We've done that at Hen Coop. You know, the Hen Coop, we didn't mm -hmm. get anything much at all. And then the second investigation, we got all the spear box and doors. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, minus the Willow is the first time. Yeah. Well, then we got the, sp the things cracking and the woods behind us, you know, with just That's a true. bunch of stuff, um, you know. Well, even like the Guernsey Hollow, we didn't get anything paranormal. All those stories, and they have some great ones over there. We get Bigfoot stuff. Yeah, even Bill was surprised about we that. Got a he was like, he was like, you guys didn't get anything at Guernsey Hollow? Well, you know <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to take Bill over there with us. See if, see if he we can use something. him as a trigger. Because sometimes it's just a person. We're going to use you as bait, like Bill. Right? Yeah. <laughs> bait? You're the bait, yeah. Bill. Billy Bait. I'm sure he'll Billy Bateman. <laughs> Billy Bateman. Um, so, yeah, how we determine if something is paranormal is if we have a piece of evidence, or suspected evidence, then we look all around that for a possibility to cause that effect before we even, like, kind of consider, like, oh, that could That's be something. Both, yeah. And it really sucks when you debunk something yeah. that you're really oh, man. Especially something you get excited so about. Do you know how many times we watch these videos yeah. like of our investigations? We see something so cool, turns out it's just Chrissy. We thought it was like <laughs> some, some... I don't think we not, talked not about that. Not that she's not cool. We didn't no. talk about that. So I'm, Are you I'm, talking about my beard? And yeah. Like? So Chrissy somehow turned into like, like my a Amish before. priest. Christian priest Somehow with a the video beard thing. distorted my face with the and light. And they were like, yo, we got this greatest thing. We were with the conductor's hat on. That, that, was, our first, like that was our first hat. investigation. I first, and we're like watching it for second. hours. Yeah. An hour. Oh, second, yeah. yeah. And then we see, we're watching the video, and we see what like appears to be... Like like, like a, a brimmed hat, like a... Like an old-timey, like... Amish hat. Yeah. yeah. Per, and a beard figure leans forward into camera frame. And then leans back out, and we were oh, like, look, keep in mind, "Oh my right. God, we caught a full yeah. on." Well, in camera frame, there's also a mirror, so we we see its reflection as well as seeing it from the side of the actual camera too. And, and we're yeah. like, we had a laser grid on it too, so you yeah. could see the laser being yeah. distorted. Yeah, this is before we had like the camera. Yeah, we had the cameras like, that we have, have now. We had, yeah, like, yeah, it wasn't four year high ago quality. phone camera. Yeah, and, you know, ten year old camcorders. Yeah, no, <laughs> no infrared lights. Yeah. in there, and, but we were so excited. Yeah, we were literally jumping up and down. I know. We're gonna make it. But well, we did get a lot of activity. <laughs> that was. Really. Have but, we done a Dudley? Yeah, we did a Dudley, but we forgot. But no, yeah, we, we didn't do it. Yeah, we did. Did we? Podcast. Yeah. I thought we just. But when Chrissy leaned forward, her hair house. came down, yeah, and from the down. side it looked like her, it was a beard, beard you know, like a grainy and camera. And she had yeah. a uh, she had headlamp. A, I mean, it wasn't grainy. It was an iPhone. Oh, that's when we were still all decked out. Yeah, and the headlamp looked headlamps. like a hat band with a buckle on yeah. it, but yeah. it was the headlamp and the grainy camera. And <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah. It was so disappointing. Like we were, we were legit 
Oh yeah, we were like jumping up and down. Oh, yeah, it was yeah. 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 sending videos. Yeah, our, for example, our uh, Lily Dale investigation. We saw what well, it looked like from I guess just the lighting or whatever. Looked like somebody was in a rocking chair and it was a shadow casting at the end of the hallway in front of the camera. Turns out it was my little sister <laughs> sitting in this chair in the dark, which made it look like a shadow, and the, the chair is going back and forth. And we were yeah, we, we thought oh, we, this we rocking like chair stood just up. We were freaking out. started like, rocking by itself. Well, because here's the yeah, thing, because we're was, watching it through, but somehow she managed to sit into that chair without any of us seeing. I don't know. We were just talking. Not to mention the camp ball was going off. Yeah, and was yeah. Like, well, well, that was like this, this girl. All. This girl was sitting in that chair. On her phone, the cat bowl over here is going off, the spear ball, going off like crazy trying to get her attention. She's just sitting there like this. In a complete dark. Yeah. And that's a really bright, colory like, light. What? Oh, man. Yeah, no, it, turns no. out it was just Aiden. Yeah. It's something trying to get her attention. But young yeah. girls on the phone. Or how about when we were at uh, the Parkview Inn? Down, we were all in the, in the dining room and there was that hall. And you guys thought somebody was in the hallway with the cash register? Oh, with the light and stuff? Yeah, it was Matt. Mr. No, it was, oh, it was me. You. Oh, oh, it was me. Because it looked like it was behind the register where nobody was allowed to go. And if there was a light. But she wasn't. Yeah, right. And stuff, yeah, so. just a trick of the camera. And yeah. And yeah. That's it why it's important like, to try to really go through these around things. with like the lighting and settings on the recording and mm. stuff. And found that was me getting ready to do a Facebook Live. Yeah. <laughs> but, all right, well. Yeah, I think that'll about do it. Um, so as Sandra already mentioned, uh, you can find links to all of our social media at spirithunters.group. And on our Facebook page, we have our shop and our YouTube channel and all that stuff pinned to the top. Yep. Um, Spirit Hunters Inc. on Facebook. And if you like the merchandise, we have a store up. If you're local and want to save shipping, you can pick it up here. And, yeah. yeah, and please like, uh, share, comment, like and share, subscribe, whatever it is. Like, comment, like, share, share, subscribe. Yes. And uh, I, I know we already said it once, but look up William P. Robertson's books, Ghost Revisited, one through uh, four right now. Fifth is almost out, and he's almost done with the sixth now. Mm -hmm. And yeah. he has about 50 other books yeah. about historical wars and stuff like Maybe that. Maybe post it. Yeah. You can put a little link to his website. In that description yeah we have all of bill's books and i think ghost revisited six is going to be quite spirit hunters heavy yeah it sounds like yeah. Yeah, it is there'll be something on the this investigation and yeah, there'll be true. stuff on spirit yeah hunters. and on hunters ghosts yeah. he keeps in touch mm -hmm. with and yep. yeah yeah and uh yeah and we helped him with some of the other articles mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well with that being said thank you guys so much for watching take care lisa Happy hunting! <laughs>